they, they came to me, I guess it was earlier this year, maybe late, late last year, with this idea about going overseas, and we had just come up with this, this new vision where we're launching people based on connections. And I said, great, where do you want to go? Uh, and they said, and I thought, oh boy, uh, there's not a lot of, there's not, um, yeah, there's just not. And so I thought, well, we're going to test out this theory of God's sovereignty bringing people here that are connecting us out to the world, and we're just going to be prayerful and try to find them. So uh, first off, could you tell us just a little bit about where uh, you are going? Yeah, so we are going to China, which is in Africa, right in the center of Africa, and we're going to be working um, among a predominantly Muslim people group there on the edge of this um, and it's kind of a cool opportunity. Um, we're going with an organization called um, and about five years ago the chief of the area that we're going to um, asked which is known as um, a Christian organization to come in and to um, teach English um, and so that's what we're stepping into. We're going to go and help to start um, an English program at a community center um, in this place. Um, so we're really excited about that. Awesome. So what has the process with the church been like? I know that we've put you through a lot of, of hoops. Can you tell us a little bit about those? Yeah, I mean, they were all um, good hoops, I would say. I agree. Um, <laughs> it, it's really meant a lot to us just how invested the church is, has been in the process with us. Um, it just the, the missions committee we met with several times, even when we were discerning God's call of, of where um, exactly he was sending us. Um, we met with members of the missions committee and um, just to have them pray with us through that and um, to help us in those decisions and encourage us. And um, that's just been a big um, help and support. Um, this has been a lot of us. Okay. Um, I'll hear you. I have a question for you. Um, you know, I, I, we are, we're telling these stories and it sound, may sound like we have this really great strategy and have things together. And the reality is with each of these stories, when they started, there was kind of a blank slate in terms of what we were going to do. And my, when I heard, I thought, great. The closest we've got, we have a lot of Nigerians at our church, but, you know, Nigeria is not. Um, and one thing that, that I keep praying through as we are, are following where God keeps opening doors to is that God would initiate in other people a desire to be a part of this. And so that's one way. I don't want this all to be top, top down from, you know, Jonathan and I or the missions committee and I. Uh, we want this to be the Holy Spirit working through our body. So I'll hear you. You were the one who initiated and said, uh, I know it. And so what inspired you to become part of this process with us? Okay. Thank you. Um, as we all know that Wilcrest Baptist Church is a multicultural bridge that draws all people to Jesus Christ, who transforms them from unbelievers to missionaries. So it's a mission statement in our bulletin. And I'll love you if you have your bulletin and you don't know the mission statement. Please, can you read with me? Let's go over it again. Uh, it says, Wilcrest Baptist Church, it's God's multi-ethnic bridge that draws all people to Jesus Christ who transforms from unbelievers to missionaries. So this is our statement, the church uh, mission statement or our vision. So with that, and then uh, last year there was a mission expo where we talked about uh, equipping, bridging, and connecting other people. So, and then we did a mapping on one of the Sundays, which they showed on the video. So with that in mind, um, I look for opportunity when I only... The person that, you know, that looks like me, <laughs> I always try to ask them where they are from. So it happened that I asked this lady where she came, where is she from, and she told me she's from... And she was the first person that I met in Houston. So I asked her for her phone number. And then um, when the opportunity came that Ben and Christina were going to I informed them about this lady. 
And I think I invited her to come to church. Ronald, are you here today? Okay, thank you. So this was the connection. Um, and then yeah. from there. So while, while you have the mic, uh, how did Invite you and Ronald get us connected into the community? What did that look like? Okay, so I invited Ronald to come to Wellcrest, and she did, even though she came a little bit earlier than... The uh, time of service, so and then she told us that they were, they were having a lot of kind of life of somebody that passed away. And we thought it was not a good time to go in to connect, but uh, she convinced us that it was okay since it was a celebration of life, even though the person passed away, but it was a kind of a memorial service, a, a memorial for him, and then to connect with other So that's how we went. Uh, would you all tell us a little bit about your experience at that Celebration of Life service? Yeah, it was really interesting um, to meet. I mean, almost everybody there was from um, and so it was really interesting to get to see what they're like and, and talk to them. Um, an interesting thing, me and Brian had a conversation with a man, uh, just kind of got with him outside and we're talking to him and got into a spiritual conversation and he wasn't very receptive, but just to, I mean, it was the first time, you know, seeing what is somebody like from, an, from near the area that we're going, yeah, how do they respond to them? Uh, so that was interesting, that first uh, conversation there. Um, and then after, we also met a pastor there um, who is an older man, and um, he was a, he's a pastor, had been a pastor in for a long time, and he's now in the States um, going through seminary. Um, and we later, we, we met him, and then the next week we actually went to his house um, and met with him. Um, and that was really interesting because he even, he used to be the, like, the leader of the evangelical church um, in and so he has a lot of um, connections, obviously, and knows a lot of people, um, the church leaders. And, and so um, we've kind of stayed in contact with him and um, hoping to, that he can, once we get there on the ground, that he can um, connect us with people there. How can uh, we be praying for you and Christina as you all head out? Yeah, I would say one of uh, the biggest things we, so we're leaving in January, um, and, and that's kind of come up fast on us uh, here lately where we realize um, that it's, it is pretty soon. Um, and so that's kind of hit us. And, and so just prayer for as we're leaving. Um, just get goodbyes to the family. We're grateful that we get to spend time with family and Christmas. Um, but just pray for us and those, those goodbyes um, with family and, and friends. Um, and then we'd, we're still looking for some more partnerships um, for people who would like to partner with us. Um, just individually or your family um, through prayer and, and financially, so um, you can pray for that. Um, and then, I mean, all this is, what all this is about is, is God's glory, and, God. and so we pray that you would pray with us um, for a work of his spirit um, there in God, um, and that many people um, from Muslim backgrounds and from animist backgrounds would come to know um, the truth of Jesus. Okay, let me pray for you now. Uh, Lord, we thank you for this amazing partnership and the connections that we never could have imagined that you could have brought out of just a few phone calls and a few meetings, uh, what you have brought to the surface. Lord, I pray for Ben and Christina that you would help them in this final lap, that they would finish well with uh, family, with fundraising here at the church also, uh, that you would just bring along the right partners that they need who will help them on their journey. Uh, but as Ben said, first and foremost, Lord, Lord we pray for uh, your glory and your name to be known amongst the nations. And right now we're praying for uh, that up in the village where they will be headed, that you will uh, give them connections and, and favor. And uh, uh, Pastor Abel, who's with the ECC there, that he would be able to connect them, some, some church partners maybe. Uh, Lord, we, we know that your plans are bigger than our plans, and so we ask you just to guide them uh, each step of the way. In your name we pray. Amen.